Hey guys, today is January 23rd, 2011, and this is my tomato update. Uh, here I have my first tomatoes of the year for 2011, and those are on my Tiny Tims. And as you can see, everything's growing crazy. I'll show you what's going on here. Hey guys, I was going to put a lettuce wrap back there, but I can't get to it because the tomatoes have gone way beyond what I thought they'd do. So what I'm going to do is hang a reflective shield over this whole area and I'm just going to use this cheap Coleman um, emergency blanket and it's highly reflective and let's see it's 53 inches by 82 inches so it's pretty big and dirt cheap it's under two bucks I got it at Target a couple years ago just never used it and uh, that's what I'm up to. I just hung that Coleman blanket and man that thing is huge this is only half of it I have it folded in half and hanging there and it really provides a lot of reflective material for just a couple bucks I I suggest buying that instead of the expensive mylar here's an aerial view of my tiny Tims uh, they're about a foot tall they're loaded with flowers I'm guessing there's maybe a hundred flowers on just these three plants and those guys are doing really good and uh, over here are my orange cherries and those are about a little bit over a foot tall loaded with flowers tons and tons of flowers so I'm gonna have a lot of tomatoes off of those and here's another orange cherry and this one was supposed to be an orange cherry but it's outgrowing all the others it's about two feet tall and it must have been a seed that got in there an accident so we'll see what that turns out to be and then over here are my Mexico midgets which they're not midgets anymore they're just monsters they're three feet tall and there's flowers throughout no tomatoes yet on those but they are just monsters and over here are my Micro Tom's world's smallest tomato plant and those have started to get flowers too no tomatoes yet and over here is another Micro Tom starting to get some buds in there and over here was supposed to be a Micro Tom but I'm not sure what that is so I'm just gonna let it go it must have been another one of those seeds that got into the pack from the uh, person I bought it from and it's not a Micro Tom so over here I have my carrots and those are doing pretty good they're getting bigger a lot more leaves and my micro or, or uh, little finger carrots they're not doing so hot they're just kind of staying the same size and I'm not expecting much out of them I'm just gonna keep them going and back there you can see my sage and my basil which is about to flower I've been chopping that stuff up and using it on fish so uh, let me show you all what's going on here. Well, since my Mexico midgets are growing so fast and tall, they needed support. So I put a support line around each one. And I'm using these things. They're called plant clips. And they're for supporting hydroponic uh, vegetables that need the extra support for heavy fruits. And I got a bag of 50 of them off of Amazon. There's what it looks like, 50 of them about 11 bucks and um, you can see I had this I have the strings going all the way to the ceiling and it's kinda like a marionette system up there and uh, all I do is add more plant clips as the plant grows and keep supporting it hey I'll show you how the plant clips work uh, you remove this sucker here okay all you do is put the string in the fold of the clip. You can see that holds it tight. I'll flip it around here and I'll clamp it to the string and then just clips like that. It holds the plant and as the plant grows you just add more. Alright, one thing I've done is switched my nutrient solution all the way over to Floramato. It's by General Hydroponics and um, 
This is a 1.5 pound container. I got it off of Amazon. The uh, two local hydroponic stores by me. I have two within three miles, which is odd. <clears throat> they didn't carry it, so I had to order online. But as you can see, the stuff is working great and everything's really healthy and growing super fast. And I think I will hit that hundreds of tomatoes mark by the end of February. Okay, here are my tomatoes in the Arrow Garden. As you can see, they've grown way too big for the Arrow Garden. They're hitting the lights and burning the leaves. And there's nothing I can do about that except to remove the, uh, the light unit of this Arrow Garden and replace it with um, one of my uh, vent pipe CFL creations. Um, and here you can see the Micro Toms. Those are perfect for the Arrow Garden because they're not really that big. And they're not doing as well as the ones I have under the uh, high pressure sodium lights. So uh, let me show you the root system of these. Okay, here you can see the roots of the tomatoes in the Arrow Garden. And there's quite a few of them. It's the uh, same nutrient solution that I'm using on my other tomatoes. And the tomato plants are actually the same age, but the ones under the brighter lights are doing better. And um, that's about it to show you this time, and stay tuned, I'll make another update in a couple weeks, and maybe we'll have some tomatoes to eat by then. That's all, take care.